Hello my dear friends, Shurma here. An extra warm welcome to you on a fine December morning. So continuing with the winter series painting tutorials, I thought today is the best day to paint some winter roses on a note card. The materials which I would be using for today's project are all listed over here. So let's dive into it without any further delay. Let's begin with the first chapter of today's video tutorial and that being the background for the painting. I begin with a white watercolor paper which is of uh, five and a half inches and three and a half inches in size and I have already printed a sentiment on the white watercolor paper and I've dropped some very light yellow liquid watercolor on it and that itself becomes the background for today's painting and that leads us to chapter number two that is painting the winter roses in one stroke style. So here is the palette. I have pink acrylic color, purple, permanent rose and white acrylic. I am using a flat brush number six and I'm loading it with pink and white. That is double loading of the brush as far as one stroke style of painting is concerned, I am loading the colors well for good results. Now I will be using another brush as you can see that's flat number four. Now before I go on to paint the winter roses, I have picked up my flat brush number four, dipped in pink acrylic and purple thereafter. And I have just created a very loose form of the rose. Next, I have picked up my flat brush number six, which is loaded with pink and white. And I am trying to create the first layer of petals of the winter rose. And this particular technique is called one stroke style of painting. Let me tell you a bit about the winter rose. Winter roses are often called Christmas roses or hellebores. They are perennial plants with elegant flowers, perfect for brightening up shady areas during late winter and early spring. Now, the botanical name for these flowers are Helleborus and they are usually found in the northern hemisphere. They are adored for their ornamental diversity, ease of care, evergreen foliage and long blooming winter color. They are mostly shell pink flowers and they bloom profusely from October to November right up to December. They have a spreading habit so you might find them as shrub borders and also in containers and courtyards. Having said that, I would also like to mention that these winter roses are more open and have very pale colors as I said and they also tend to lose their color as they age. Now that's interesting, I must say. So here you see that I'm trying to create very open flowers and I hope I'm doing a good job here. I would like to know from you, like if you think that this looks good enough or not, but I think they do really look like hellebores now. I'm trying my best here. And 
I am also trying to give some folds to the petals to make them look more real. I'm using the corner of my flat brush number six to create those folds on the petals. Now this particular rose, it is right at the edge of the paper. Hence, I'm using a scratch paper underneath the white watercolor paper so as not to destroy my workstation. Here I'm trying to create a petal which is just facing us and it's upright. It's fun to create these um, different kind of petals in a flower because that is how we get all the practice. And I'm keeping the color very muted because these flowers Remember, they are growing in wintry areas, so they do not have too much of sun to look up to. So once done with the flowers, I move on to creating the foliage. So here is the palette. I have bamboo green, olive green, yellow acrylic and white acrylic. And I'm still using the flat brush number six. So I am loading it with olive green, yellow and white to create this beautiful combination of three colors on a single brush. So that is triple loading of the brush. And there you go. You see the one stroke style of leaves in the making. Do you like them? Aren't they pretty? Yeah, I would like to know from you if you're enjoying this painting and at this moment I am having the most fun because I just love to create these beautiful one stroke style of leaves. But I would definitely like to know from you as well. So if you are new to one stroke style of painting or if you would like to refresh your stroke skills then I would encourage you to please visit my past videos and I would be very happy to provide the links to some of them in the description box below. All right, some more leaves near the flower, which is at the edge of the card. Oh, that reminds me, in case you would like to see the other winter series painting video tutorials, then please click on the i button, which appears on the right hand side of this particular screen. It will lead you to all those videos and I hope you enjoy them. All right, at this point, I'm introducing turquoise green on my flat brush number four and I'm creating some turquoise green slider leaves here and there just to bring up some more color on the flower arrangement here. At this point, I have picked up my liner brush and olive green. I'm trying to connect the leaves to the flower bunch and create some vines here and there. These are little green spots on the twigs just to add some interest to the painting. But these little nuances make any painting look good. Little details, you know, to attract the viewer's attention to. Always helps. Some pink flowers, they are simply dots with a liner brush and a couple of ferns here and there to just balance the painting.
All right, it's time for the flower centers. So in this chapter, you will see how I'm creating the flower centers with a liner brush and white acrylic. I'm creating the stamens in the center of the open hellebores. Next, I pick up some yellow acrylic and I'm just staining those white lines with the yellow acrylic color. And then go on to create the pollen with white and yellow and a liner brush. A bit of yellow and a bit of olive green at the center and the panel is ready. All right, so next chapter tells about assembling the card. Now before I go on to assemble the card, I have picked up my liner brush along with pink acrylic color and I'm just creating some creases on the petals to make them look more real. As I told you earlier, these little details count. You will see it up close in just a moment. There you go. Do you see them? Once I'm happy with the painted panel, I go ahead and assemble the card. So I have two elements with me. One is a painted panel and a white note card. And once I put the two together, this is how it looks. And that's a wrap on today's project. So let me know if you enjoyed watching me paint the winter roses on a note card in one stroke style of painting. I would be waiting to hear from you. It is always a sheer delight to hear from all my friends on YouTube. Also, please connect with me on my social media handles and it would be a great pleasure to be in touch with you. I really appreciate all your love and support and your beautiful comments and I'm really thankful to you for that and thanks for watching till the end as well. Here are some of my past painting video tutorials. You might like them as well. So we'll be back very soon. Do stay tuned. Bye-bye.